What is going on guys? I'm back from the video and today I'm going to Jordan 1 mid let her man uh, dropping exclusively in the women's sizing. Now the sneakers at least November 18th, 2020 uh, for retail price of $130. It's a little higher than a normal uh, Jordan 1 mid uh, retail price. Usually they retail for about $125 and then we saw the Jordan 1 band really uh, retail for $115 that came out a couple days ago for exclusive access. Now I'm not really sure why that is. I'm not sure why the retail is fluctuating like it is. Um, maybe they're trying to find the niche and the perfect price to to price the Jordan 1 mid since they are coming up and a lot of them are becoming uh, brick flips and I believe this one is going to be a little bit more than a brick flip I think it would be a good you know some good resale value I can see here I think they're going to resell for $175 uh, give or take I would you know add 10 or 20 dollars onto that maybe maybe some size would go for 150 other uh, would go for 180 190 around that range um, but that's where I'll target for the resale range now let's get into uh, the release info now the sneaker is pretty exclusive so that's why i think the retail is going to be a bit higher or the resale is going to be a bit higher than usual uh, the drop list here as he's only dropping on two sites uh nike us and dtlr now these are both dropping at 10 a.m eastern time at the same time now for manual users i'd recommend going for nike us um it's not on the nike sneakers app it's on the actual website so just um you know I'll just be prepared for that. And DTLR, I've actually never hit on that site, so I'm really not familiar with it, but I assume that's one of those uh, Shopify sites that get hits pretty hard by bots. Now for the cop risk, I say it's moderate because it is Jordan 1 mid, and the margin between the uh, retail and the resale is not the best, um, but but Nike does have free returns. So if you are kind of skeptical, I would only try to cop on Nike because uh, then if it you know ends up flipping or bricking and you, don't, and you can't make any profit on it, you can always send it back within like 30 days and you'd be good to go just the only thing you're risking is is your money being held up uh, until they refund you which is no big deal because it's 100 percent um a refundable now for the best sizes i would say five sizes five through 7.5 women's so pretty much like the base sizes for these those would be the most profitable sizes uh up and then again i, I would think uh like this like the larger sizes will, are also going to do well um really all sizes across the board are, are going to be profitable i just think that might be the most profitable and not only me might only be from like five to eight bucks more profitable than you know a size eight or a size nine so it's really not that much a difference uh, for what size you get so i'd cop any size if now these are some of the highest bids here as we can see um they're about 185 across the board give or take um and you see like some of the uh, larger sizes on 190 and then the smaller sizes are in the 180 190 range as well uh like i said all of the bids are pretty much around the same so i would not worry about it uh, too much on what size you cop. Now, where to sell this product? Now, I would recommend selling on eBay or local meetups because uh, eBay with sneakers over $100, they have the 0% seller's fee. Now, if you sell a sneaker over $200, they will authenticate it for no uh, for no additional charge and then send it to the buyer. Uh, however, I don't think you'll be able to get $200 from these, so that point would just won't really matter when it comes to these. But if you're a trusted eBay seller, um, you should be able to sell them no problem. Um, you might have to take extra pictures of the tags and stuff if you're not, which is um, oh, you know, which is okay because eBay is definitely hands down the best place to sell, um, because you make connections and you meet the person you're talking to, and you know you can maybe like get I'll get a number, email, have them follow your Instagram, whatever. Uh, so next time you get a pair in, he might be able to contact you, and you guys can you know work out a deal uh, and make it happen for the future. Now for local meetups, it's the same way. You build connections, you meet people that are gonna buy sneakers from you in the future. Now in a Grail, you also meet people and you also communicate, but they take a nine percent seller's fee. So I would not recommend going on eBay. I'd recommend um, or not recommend Grail. I'd recommend eBay and local meetups. And the StockX and Go take about like 12, 12 and a half percent. Uh, is it? It's easiest to sell on those platforms, but they also take a big cut. And for these, I would not recommend um, selling on StockX or Go at all, or even Grail for that matter, because they're gonna dig into pretty much all your profit. So I wouldn't. Um, it's, so if you buy these with intent of selling on StockX or Go, I would go ahead. Uh, and just skip this release and move on to the next because there's not going to be much profit to be made there. Um, yeah, if you guys can like, subscribe to the video, that's all I really got for you guys. Once again, for my returning subscribers, if you guys can let me know um, how the new format, how you guys like it. If you guys think I should just keep it, drop it, whatever. And, and if you're new, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. I'm trying to get 200 subscribers by the end of the year. Peace out.